Hi guys, today we will look at two ways how to not affect your wall mix with the master channel effects in FL Studio 20. So this issue was addressed by one of my subscribers called Rana G, so thank you for that. And let's see an example here. So I have a kick, snare, open hat and bass. Together they sound like this. And as you can see here, each of these element is linked to a separate mixer channel. So when you go to the mixer channel, and let's say you choose the kick for example, right here you can see that its value to the master is 100%, which goes pretty much the same for each element, which is the default value. And let's say one day you think it's a good idea to apply a dub delay for the wall mix and then it sounds like this and then you're like hmm I still want to keep this dub delay on the master but I don't want to affect the kick and bass with it I only want to affect the snare and open hat with it so here's the first method which we're gonna use and it's gonna be the patcher method. So first we're gonna disable the effect we applied and then we're gonna choose the effects we don't want to affect with this dub delay, right? We're gonna choose the kick and lower its percentage to the master to zero. And also the bass, we don't want to affect the bass with the dub delay zero and now we will go to the master back and let's choose the patcher patcher and here we will choose uh, just right click on an empty space and add plugin and let's search for dub delay okay here we have it and now right click on this arrow outputs audio and let's choose the effects we don't want to apply this dub delay which is the kick and the bass now connect these little dots to the output And as you can see, as you can hear, the dub delay is affecting only the snare and open hat. But we still get the output to the master from kick and bass. So yeah, this is how we do it. This is the first method. Now on to the second one. So let's delete this one. Let's uh, link back the kick to the master by the default value. And let's use the second method, which is uh, submaster or submix. So submix is used just to conserve the space if you don't want to repeat the same effects over and over again. Let's say we have a dub delay and we want to use it on snare and open hi-hat as well. But uh, we don't want to copy it. We don't want, want it here on this channel and also here on this channel. We want to use it only once. So let's go on an empty channel, for example. Let's rename it, first of all, submix, top delay, whatever. Let's uh, change the color, black. Now go to the uh, channel you want to affect the snare. Click on it, now right click on this little triangle and choose raw to this track only. And same goes for the hi-hat. Now here click on the submix dub delay channel and just choose the dub delay. That's how you save the space. 
and that's how you link the desired uh, effects only for the channels you want to affect so thank you for watching hopefully hopefully you learned something new and have a great day